Abigail, you're definitely not well enough for school. Not even my flu lesson? I'm afraid to say no. <gasps> So should you, or should you not, go to your flute lesson when you've got a cold? That's a tough one. It is a tough one. You don't want to miss your flute lesson? No, you love your flute lessons. Yeah. But do you want to infect your teacher? Yeah. And there's really only one person that can answer the question. Mm-hmm. If you're unsure. Ask your teacher. Ask your teacher. Come in. listen to music. There's nothing nicer than listening to music and you can figure out some new flute players that you didn't know about and you might love their playing. Um, you could find out some new pieces that you didn't know even existed. You could even write little reviews. Yeah. I'd love it if a student came to a lesson and brought like a little list of things they'd listened to, what they liked about Brilliant. it, maybe things that they weren't so keen on, yeah. things that were inspired to learn and play themselves. Because it really helps your own playing. Mm -hmm. You could listen to a few different recordings of the mm -hmm. same piece, couldn't you? Always very interested yeah. to hear different interpretations. Definitely. And again, it's like picking and choosing what you like from different performances. And maybe you can insert that into your piece. You know, you might like what somebody does with dynamics somewhere, what somebody does with tone colour. It's very useful. Absolutely. It goes into that bank of choices yeah. and musicality. And the thing is, the great thing about music is it's not cheating to copy someone else. No. So, you know, if you're in a maths test and you look over your shoulder at someone else's <laughs> answers, that is not allowed. But on the flute, if you hear someone do something and you're like, oh, I love wow. the way they did that, I want to do that, yeah. you are 100% allowed to recreate that. Yeah. Make it your own. You don't want a carbon copy, because that's boring. But we all take and borrow and share from each other, and that's a good thing. That is a good thing. So listening is fabulous. general research mm. fill yourself with with more sort of musical knowledge because yeah. you'll become a better musician a better player so maybe search search composers learn yeah. about their lives um, other things that they've written uh, learn about the history of the flute I mean it's incredible yeah the history of the flute we've got one of the most rich histories of any instrument um, so you know we've got the internet at our fingertips and there's books you can find libraries, anything at absolutely. the touch of a button This is our favourite one. Yeah. So, write a story, just a short story, about a piece that you're learning at the moment. So what you think might be happening in the music. Yeah. Imagine if someone was narrating it or if there was a movie going on yeah. in your mind. Write it out, have a story. When you get to play it, you can think of that story in your head. Yeah. And it will in that will inspire you to use a lot more colour and imagination in your music. Be creative and you could even paint a picture. Mm. If, if, if you're not into writing stories, you could paint a picture, visualise what's going on in the music. I was never an artist. I was never a writer. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> we should do a book. <laughs> Another thing you can do is read through your piano parts. Get to know your piano parts better. You can do that just by reading it and trying to listen to it in your head or by listening to it on a recording and following it along. Really paying attention to the other yeah. part. You will be so much better at playing your piece. You can just get your flutes and practice.
practice doing the fingers along to the whilst reading the part as well. And it's actually a great opportunity for those really tricky little bars that are technically difficult to practice those slowly, just looking at your fingers. And that's a really helpful way to practice. Even also on the same theme, just exercises in general. If yeah. you haven't got your flute, you can just do some finger exercises, just strengthening yeah. your fingers. And also lip exercises do. Yeah. Rabbits are brilliant. So bringing your lips above your teeth, back down, funny faces, working all these muscles, yeah. brilliant for you. But most importantly of all, look after yourself. Get some rest, rest. At the end of the day, we want you to get well as quickly as possible so you can get back to your food. Yes. Get well soon. Oh, oh, you've got something on your... Uh, <laughs> <laughs>